This is Gemara Bamitsia Daf Mem Hey, and we're holding in the bottom of Mem Dalid Omid Bees. All the learning should be an incredible schos for Achinu Kol Beis Yisrael and his student Batsaru Vashivya. Bisiyat de Shemaya, as the Chsam Sefer has taught us, and we always repeat, the Melcham Shel Teira can be Megan for all Melchama is Bisiyat de Shemaya. Our learning in the entire Chabura should be matzil on all of Klal Yisrael, as well as the learning should be an incredible schos refuah shleima for Freidel Miriam Basara. She should continue seeing incredible improvements. So we're holding in the bottom of Mandalin Amid Beis as we began this famed difficult parak of Azov. Two lines from the bottom. Tistayim de Rav Yechanan bring a raya. The Rav Yechran is the opinion that holds the Amar Ein Mechalin. The holds that you cannot be Mechalel. What are we referring to? Referring to being Mechalel, Peirois of Meiser Sheni, onto Dinari Meshel Zahav. What does it mean to be Mechalel? That means Meiser Sheni itself is supposed to be in Yerushalayim. If you cannot, what you do is you deconsecrate the Kedusha from the produce onto money, take that money up to Yushalai. So the question is, what about onto Dinarim Shalzov? Is that allowed? So says the Gemara, let's bring a Raya, the Rav Yechon is the opinion that holds in Mechalin, that you cannot be Mechalel <clears throat> onto Dinarim Shalzov. What's the Raya? And of course, just to repeat one last word, this centers around the Machlaik as what is the status of Dinarim Shalzav? Do they have the status of Peri or do they have the status of Kesef? As every item has to be quantified, is this an item that's called cash or is this an item that's called Peri? If it's an item that's called Peri, it has its unique set of Allah <clears throat> If it's an item called um, Cash, it has its unique halachis. And of course, this was an offshoot of how we learned the Mishnah, Rebbe B'zek Nusay, Rebbe B'yaldusa, whether the, the Mishnah that we have is correct, which is, Hazav is Kainas HaKasef, that Hazav, golden dinarim, gold is considered the peri, and therefore a Mashiach on that is an acquisition. And therefore, you would have to be, pay, you would have to pay the Kasef. Or the other version who said the exact opposite. So bring a raya the Rav Yechlan is the opinion that holds Ein Mechalin. The Amar Rav Yechlan as Rav Yechlan has taught us as we turn over to Memheya Medalif Osir Lil Vais Dinar Bedinar. One is not allowed and of course just as a, maybe a word of encouragement there's a lot of concepts that will be built as we go along so the beginning, of course, it's more complicated, but also always and also hopefully as we dive deeper and deeper into the barrack, things will get more comfortable as we get used to the concept. So says Rabbi Yechon, one is not allowed to lend a dinar for a dinner. Why can you not lend? It sounds like a current lend you $100 to get back $100. Why not? So Rashi points out that the, con- the issue might be Shemu Yoikiru because Whatever you're lending might go up in value. If you have a day ribis, zov kamar, as we're going to see. So just to zoom out a little bit, if I were to lend you an item without a set value, that is this concern. Sub is saw. If I give you an item, so then the concern is when you pay it back, whatever the term of agreement is, whether it's a month, six months, a year, at that point the item might be worth more or less, and thereby it could cause. A situation of Rebis. So says Rav Yechlai, now let a le- lend dinner for dinner. Says the Gemara, what type of dinner are we referring to? Dinner demai. E lema dinner shall kasef, be dinner shall kasef. If referring to lending a silver dinner for a silver dinner. In relationship to itself, silver versus silver. Is there anyone that's going to hold? It doesn't have the status of Tiva as cash. Of course it does. And if it's cash, of course I'm allowed to lend. Ow. Excuse me. A hundred 
dollars for a hundred dollars is no issue. This only is when you're lending items. So says the Gemara, El What must this be referring to? Dinar shel zav, bedinar shel zav. You're lending a golden dinner for a golden dinner. Uleman, e le beis hel, this opinion of beis amri tivave. Beis holds, of course, that golden and dinar have the status of cash. El alav le beis shamai. Ushma minan, here's our raya. Six lines down, Memheya Medalev, Rav Yechlan, Hudamar, Ein Mechalalin. That's a Rav Yechlan, hold you now to be Mechalal, Peirais, Meiser, Sheni, on to Dinarim Shal Zahav. As we see, they have the status of a peri. That's why you're not going to lend one golden dinar for another golden dinar. For the simple reason is that it's like lending a peri, a fruit for another fruit. It might go up, it might go down in value. Says the Gemara, Lai no Rai, Lai lo meim lachal, tell you Rav Yechlan, Hudamar, Mechalin. Maybe really Rav Yechlan does allow you to be mechalal. shiny halva. The case of Alva, the case of lending dinarim for dinarim is different. Kivin dili mekach umemkar. Shavinu rabban and kipeiri. Since with regard to buying and selling, Chazal dictated that it's considered like a peri. As Rashi on the last white line points out, our Mishnah, that Hazav is koines haikasef, they do mashikh on gold. You're obligated to pay the cash that gold has the status of a peri as merchandise as Produce damrin on iu niu the oiker vizil. Therefore, like Abi Alva Nami Peira Have. That's the reason. Meaning, bad some ostensibly says the Gemara. Rav Yechon Kroll, you are mechalal when it comes to gold and dinarim. I we see you're not allowed to lend them, but that's because it's parroted after a Mishnah with regard to buying and selling gold as din of a peri. Also with regard to halva, with regard to loans, but. It could very well be, says the Gemara, that that's only by loans, that's only by sales, but with regard to Chilol Meiser Sheni, deconsecrating the fruits of Meiser Sheni, Rabbi Yechanan would allow it. Hachanam Mistavra says the Gemara, indeed, this is logical. Why? The Chazar Rabbin and Rabbi Yechanan Lisha Amru Asa Lilvais, Dinar Bedinar Aval explicitly. Mechalin Meiser Sheni Alav Shma Mina, for there we have a perfect Raya. Says the Gemara Toshima. Let's ask Akasha according to the opinion that holds that you're not allowed to machal be shamay on to golden dinarim. Asks the Gemara. If someone is converting money, someone is changing money from Meiser Shani onto a silver sela. You're allowed to change all of your copper coins onto silver. He's only allowed to do a shekel's worth of silver and keep a shekel's worth of copper. Says the Gemara, will allow you to change from prutois, from copper to silver. Then of course he should allow you to change onto gold. If you could change onto even silver, which silver is seemingly the most commonly used, the most widespread, the most easy to say, it's called kesef. And yet, Beishamei says you could be mechalal. Certainly, he should allow you to be mechalal gold. Answers the Gemara: Shiny priti ba'asher the sagyon charifi. Priti are different in a place that they're circulate. They are more in. The the more uh, in circulation, excuse me, the more common than gold, and that's the reason why I allow you to be mechalal onto them particularly. The second lashon says the Gemara one says the machlekes is siloyim silver al dinarim onto gold. However, Peiroiz al dinarin divrei akol mechalin. Why does everyone agree? You could ask me mechal when it comes to Peiroiz that kati kesef rishoin. No, because the mice is considered kesef rishoin. Bchadam relman dem rolls af Peiroiz al dinarin nami machleikes. What's the kasha? Well, the man dem rolls al dinarin machleikes. And the mivli of rolls al dinarin mivli of slaim al slaim. Why don't they argue on slaim on slaim? Silver onto silver, says the Gemara. 
But when it comes to changing silver onto gold, when it comes to Islam al Dinarim, Maidulul Bay Sil Bay Shami the Davali Kabikasa Peri Habib Loma Khalinan, Kamash Salan, that there is no Haidan in such a case. That's the second Lashin as to come to the same result, whether you can machalel onto silver, gold, etc. Says the Gemara Tashima. So we just had two Manda Amrim. The first man to Amr said, Machlaik is his Sulayim al Dinarim. A Machlaik is how you learn the Basik. And Beishama is holding Ka Kasev, Kasev Rishon, Veloi Kasev Sheni. Only the first money, but not the second money. Now, what exactly does that mean? Says the Gemara, you can only change it once, you cannot change it twice. So now, on that detail, Asks the Gemara 20 lines down. The first one line is Kamash Malan, 20 lines at the end of the Amun, excuse me. Ha Pairi Sela Maiser Shani Bi Yushalayim. Bishami Arabi Mukhal Salah Ma Yusu Salam Shakal Shikasa Bishakam Bais. Of course, this is the reason why we just brought in this whole lush. Hash the castle gabi priti machalinon. Now, if you're gonna tell me that you can yes change Kasef on that you could change on the Kasef from copper. We don't say that you can only go one time now that it's copper, it can't go further. You're asking questions on Yerushalayim. Shiny Yerushalayim. The Chsev Be Yerushalayim is different than it says when it's not a Kasef. Yushalayim has different rules, therefore there's no kwasha on the opinion of that first Amayra. Toshema continues the Gemara, he lines from the bottom. Ha'apayri eitz ala ma'oiz ma'izr sheni, beit shami yomim v'chol ha'asala ma'oiz, beit shami yomim v'chol ha'asala ma'oiz, beit shami yomim v'chol ha'asala ma'oiz. So says the Gemara, seemingly, what do we see simply? We said, beit shami says, you can even do b'chol ha'asala ma'oiz. Which means you can transfer it all over, which seemingly would hold even Kesef Shani, even a secondary transfer, not only transferring it once, says the Gemara, Kesef Kesef Reboy. So we go back, says the Gemara, everyone really holds, you can be Marbe Kesef many times. Vafilu Kesef Shani. So what was the Machlaikes? What was that debate? Between Rav Yechel and Reish Lakish, Charamar Machlekes B'Slayim Al Dinar. One holds the Machlekes in the last line of Mehei Amad Aleph is Slayim Silver Al Dinar Mante Gold. The Beis Shamei Savri Beis Shamei holds Gazrinon as we turn over to Mehei Amid Beis Shema Yisha Al Yosef. That what's the Gezeira that you might delay going up to Yushalayim the Zimnin the Lamalu Zuzi B'Dinara? Why? Because you might not have enough silver. To change it into gold, v'loy masik, and you're not going to bring it up to you shalayim. So beishamai is not allowing you to change the silver onto gold, according to this version, almost as a sidebar issue, a new concern that you might not have enough silver to change into gold, and then you're not going to end up going up with all your pay rice or the money equivalents to Yerushalayim. No, there's no Gezerah. Why not? Even if you don't have enough to change it into gold, then what? You're still going to go up with whatever you hand to you, Shalayim. But when it comes to changing Peiroz onto gold, meaning straight, not when you're transferring the coins onto each other, then, because since the, the excuse me, Dimirakvi, a little dyslexic, since the fruit would rat, you're not going to delay. I Meaning you don't have that concern that you're not going to fill up the amount of produce because the produce is going to rat. That there still is a machlaikas in such a scenario. So a new way of learning the machlaikas of Yechon and Reish Lakish which centers around the new Gezeira, whether we're worried that you're not going to have enough to change it onto gold and thereby delay going up to Yerusha Laim. 
We conclude for this part that says the Gemara Bishlam Lachlisha the Amr to Midiraisa Mishra Shara Virabana Anu Degazirbai. According to that which we just learned, that everyone agrees that Midiraisa you could yes transfer the kedusha onto gold. Virabana and it's a din Virabana that you're not allowed to according to Veishamai the Katani Yase Haynu the Katani Yase Velo Yase. Then the Mishnah makes sense in the terminology of Yase and Lo Yase. And if you look at the first narrow line of Rashi, and Rashi says, and what would the alternative be? It doesn't say the Lashon of Chilel. Yesh Chilel ain't Chilel. But rather Yase and Lo Yase, because it's a Chumra de Rabban. Really, Midar Ais is no problem. The Rabban and we're worried. You might not have enough. So Yase and Lo Yase. El Ha'achlish, according to the first Lashon, the Amr de Midar Ais of Ligi. That they're arguing in how to darshan up the pasik, says the Gemara that the terminology of the Mishnah should have been different. Should have said, "Are you allowed to or not?" And we end with the Gemara that says, "Kasha." This indeed is a kasha, and that really is part A of the shear, which really wraps up yesterday, which is the deconsecration onto gold and what is the status of gold vis-a-vis other items, whether it has din of a peri or kesef. And from there, we segue on to new sugya, which will take us well into tomorrow, Itmar. About 15 lines down, first one line is Kasha, says the Gemara, quoting a Machloik as Rav and Levi. Chad Amar Matbea Nase Chalipin, V'chad Amar Ein Matbea Nase Chalipin. Is a coin allowed to be used as the vehicle for Chalipin. We know Chalipin is an exchange. You know, the rabbi takes his yarmulke, takes a handkerchief, takes a pen, it's Mechir, it's Chametzah, I make a Kenyan on it, and thereby transfer something else. Can you use a Matbeya for that? Let's look at Rashi for a moment, as this will really be the bedrock of the ensuing Gemaras. Rashi, 10 lines into the narrow line, says Matbeya Nas Chalipin. Abola Hachlev Matbeya you're coming to swap a coin for something else. Meaning, you're not paying for something. You're using a coin like a handkerchief. If I buy the land for you, I give a handkerchief, you take it. And with that, I'm kind of the land. I am a Dalton of Mashiach, Shumashiach, or you do the Mashiach on the item, Kitel Sev, Shalav Ish. Na aloi v'nosan l'riyehu af matbeya so to a coin shav al bisha shnir v'nosan l'imoy so much chemen who pay rosh yachal achzer boy honey milik shnosan b'teres damim kederach mekachum emker aval im nosan b'teres chalibin kim shemash achzeres amoyis negno achivet shaloi v'chol makim shu that is the kasha can cash substitute as a handkerchief says the machleik as it says the gemara excuse me. Smachlik is Rav and Levi. One says yes, and one says no. About 15 lines down, the first word line is Amar. Amar Rabbah, my time to under my matbeya nas chalib. Mishum the day they had surasa, but surasa avida de batla. Because your das when you get money is on the coin, and the coin is not necessarily going to stick around, and therefore it cannot effect a kinyan chalibin. Says the Gemara Tanan, let's ask you a cash on the Mandamar that holds it does not work. Hazav, says the Mishnah. Kainas, I guess, if. When you do the Mishikh on the Zav, you're Kainas, you have to pay the cash. My love, the Chalipin. So what do we see? We see you can, yes, utilize a coin as the vehicle for Chalipin. Shmamina Matbea Nas Chalipin is Marlai. It means with cash. A question that probably bothered many people. From when we read the Mishnah in the previous year, why is the terminology Azov is kindness? I guess it should be Azov. Is Mechayev. If I do Mashiach on the cash, now I'm obligated to pay. Says the Gemara. Tini Azov Mechayev. Read that in. And explains the Gemara, Hachi Nami Mistabra, this is logical. Midiktani, Seifa Kasavino, Kainas Azov. So he, I'm Rabbi Shalbid Tomim, I know Dam Rita Hava, Pei Rivikas Vativo. So now it makes sense. 
that the gold is merchandise and the silver is a coin. So therefore, if you do a Mashiach on the coin, you're not coin at the merchandise. But if it's not an act of Mashiach, but you're just doing Chalib, who cares if the whole thing is Chalib and I can use my handkerchief, I can use my pen, I can use my gold coin, I can use my silver coin. Why would there be a difference in the mission of Tina Zav? Elamai says the Gemara, it's not Chalipin. Rather, as we explained in the Mishnah, you're doing a Mashiach on the Zav and thereby obligating Mechaev to pay the Kasef. Whereas a Mashiach on the Kasef is in a Mechaev as Hazav. Vo'itanya continues the Gemara with another Raya. To Mishnah that's talking about Chalipin, a Kasef in a Kainas Hazav, Ketzad. Machar lo Yasef, a Chamej Dinar Shal Kasef. If one sold 25 dinarim, 25 silver dinarim, for what? Bidinar shal zav. Av al bich emma shechaz ha kasev lo ikana. Ad sheyim shechaz ha zav. No kuni nitzli di mishikha on the zav. So we have Rabbi Shalva bin Tom. We're talking about paying something with cash. Shal machi lo ikana. You're not going to make a kinyin. Eli amri ve chalib in igni. Chalib in works and you should be koine. So two different rayos. Says the Gemara elamai bidamim. And therefore, that's the right. There must be used cash. But says Gemara Yach Emer Emer Eisha Hazav Koyne Es Hakasef Keitzad Machar Loi Dinar Shel Zav Asif Achami Dinar Shel Kasef Kivan Shem Machar Tzach Es Hakasef Nik Nes Kivan Shem Machar Tzach Es Zav Excuse me Nik Nes Kasef B'Chol Makim Shu So I am Rabbi Shlom B'Chalipin Now makes sense. I do tell you Nik Nes Kasef B'Chol Makim Shu Eli Am Rabbi Dami My Nik Nes Kasef B'Chol Makim Shu Nes Chayiv Gavra Mi Boi Lei so says the Gemara, the word of the Brisa, the way, the terminology of the Brisa is difficult. So answers the Gemara, Amr Avashi in the first white line, really, la'ilam bidamu, ma'i b'chomakim shehu, it means, kemo'i shehu, kid'amar le'i, as it is, as he said to him, i'amar le'i me'arneki chadosho, ya'avinu l'cha, if the buyer said to him, I'll give you the money, from a new purse, freshly coined coins. Lo mati yav lei marniki yishana. Afagav da adiva mine. My time with amalei. Lishin ashnan ka ba'ina lehu. That's what I want. It says the Gemara. No, indeed, it means a kidney with cash does not mean chalip. And thereby further improving our din from our mission. And our mission is not talking about chalip at all. But therefore, it's not a kash at all. In the modern that says yes. Yeah, yes, Kesef Koina, yes, Matbeya Nas Chalipin, Eid Matbeya Nas Chalipin, it's like do with our Mishnah. Mishnah's not talking about Chalipin, of course, Mishnah's talking about Kinyin Damim. We'll pick it up from our Papa, Bisiyata Dishmaya.